Hi everyone, I am back with a video and this one is one that looks at more plein air stickers. Um, I did um, a video like last week or something called a planner sticker love down. That's just kind of a fun feature because I'm really into planning and planners and planner stickers. Um, and I mentioned that I really love planner stickers because they're kind of like little works of art to me that you can kind of put on a page um, when you're doing planning. And planner stickers aren't for everybody, but um, I just really enjoy them. So I wanted to do something kind of fun to kind of highlight some of my favorite sticker companies that I bought from on Etsy and um, just kind of tell you a little bit about why I enjoy the certain sticker shops or just kind of sticker sets. So um, I don't I don't buy a whole lot of planner stuff um, or a whole lot of like planner sticker stuff but um, I just went and like recently just picked some of like my very very favorite like I don't know, I just thought that certain ones were really special, so um, I decided to get a planner sticker set from Nicole Hutch Designs, um, who is based out of New Jersey, and um, I was able to get that happy mail to me this past week, and so I thought I would just kind of highlight Nicole Hutch Designs. So if you want to see the sticker set that I got from Nicole Hutch Designs, um, and hear me kind of talk about why I think her work is, um, is special and unique and why I like it so much. Then stick around for the video and uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. So let's go ahead and watch the video. So this is what I got from Nicole Hutch Designs and here is the business card that she sent. Um, and it shows you just kind of everything. She has a printable shop, and of course she has a website and an Etsy shop. And Facebook group, Facebook group is really a great thing to do for any Etsy shops just because they typically will put um, special coupon codes and things in there. Um, there's an Instagram and then her email. So one of the things that I really, really appreciate about, about Nicole is that she um, is formerly an art student, a serious art student, and I will be able to point out actually things kind of of her work that um, really stood out to me that tell me that she was like a legit kind of professional study, studying kind of graphic artist. So she includes um, this really nice um, kind of oversized set of sort of postcard that um, if you really wanted to you could always cut out the graphic elements and then you could make them into a dashboard or if you wanted to you could also let's see here this is not quite an A5 size and it's bigger than a personal size I think maybe just a little bit bigger but um, you could always turn this into a dashboard and um, the blue and kind of the mint and the yellow with that kind of warm brownish gray I think it's just a really um, great color palette and then it's hard to see, but there's just the slightest hint of like a sepia, kind of a, a gray there at the base of the, the feather. So there's lots and lots of details here. And this is um, this is just printed on a heavy kind of a cardstock. It's glossy on one side and then it's matte on the other side. Um, but this is a nice little freebie that she offers. This is her freebie um, sticker set that she offers. And it comes with some really great functional elements. And I really like how skinny the Build Do sticker is um, and how it has that tiny little checkbox. And because she is um, kind of a working graphic artist um, who, you know, now is just kind of like split off on her own and has been doing this, and she's a one woman shop, so it's kind of amazing because she's really fast shipping. Um, she's located in New Jersey. She always has really top-notch work. So what I selected is I selected, um, I selected two kind of items or two listings that are of the same sort of decorative element. And um, I really like citrus. I love grapefruit and oranges and limes. I don't know, maybe it's like the Asian in me. It's citrus is big in <laughs> Asian cuisine and everything. But um, I just I love citrus. And the thing that really stood out to me for this particular kind of set, which is called Tutti Frutti, um, is the fact that, um, and it may be, might be really hard to see, but she actually made her own pattern. 
she did not, as far as I can tell, and I'm pretty familiar with um, just like ready-made patterns that you can get. The patterns that she used, the background pattern for the washi strips here, and for this here for like a double sheet kind of personal size that you could pop into your planner if you wanted to. Even the seeds right there. She made these patterns herself. And I love original artwork. I think that original artwork is is truly what can set apart um, kind of planner stickers and planner sets more than anything else. So I always love when I'm looking on Etsy if I'm doing kind of um, market research stuff as it has to do with, like I've said before, niche markets, um, especially like the planner sticker market. I really love finding artists who do um, planner sticker work or just pattern stuff that it's original. So this background right here, this orange, it's white outline on an orange background and then what she did is she put the citrus slices over top of it. Now this is a really great set if you would want to do just something like um, very kind of functional and this would work for an Erin Condren size. It has plenty of headers here for you to use. And then you could do like bullet style journaling in um, an Erin Condren kind of vertical. And this set right here is called the Tutti Fruity Vertical Headers and Washi. And um, I just thought that this was a really great, I like the color set, or I'm sorry, the color palette in this set because I think it's really fresh and it's a departure from it being kind of too girly which I do like I do like girly I do like purple and everything but um, I always like things that can do a little bit of a fresh twist um, no pun intended since this is citrus um, but I always like sets or just um, sticker sets that that kind of stand out because of their color palette or because of the fact that they actually make their own patterns which Nicole Hutch she clearly does. And because she's a professional graphic um, designer, graphic artist, um, that's really what sets her apart. The other thing that I really, really enjoy is the fact that she has, this is almost, it's called photorealistic, which is what um, these graphic elements are. Like, they are obviously illustrated, but they're so well illustrated that they look like they could be kind of photographs or like posturized photographs is another way to put it. But then she included here the um, the green and white stripe with this and I think that that just looks really great together it's 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 um it's a very clean sort of a look here with this that's like a busier pattern the colors are not too bright like the yellow even they're not too bright that they actually blow out the white and I really really like the um, font that she chose I'm pretty picky about fonts and um, if there's one thing that I always feel like Nicole Hutch gets spot on, it's that she gets fonts just so, so right every time. Like, I just really like her fonts. They're not too big, they're not too small, they're very, very clean. This is called a sans serif font, which basically means it doesn't have any, like, kind of fancy tips and things. It's very straight lines. Her spacing is always really great, which sounds like a weird thing, but um, I work in professional art and graphic design and everything in branding so spacing and leading and all of that is really important to me. Here is a personal size planner set that you see that this this um, coordinates nicely with this. So something great that Nicole um, does that a lot of other sticker makers have started to do is they're doing things in something called a la carte pricing which basically means you can kind of pick and choose your own elements of different collections so then you can build your own package of whatever it is that you want. Um, Nicole Hutch also has really, really reasonable prices, super reasonable prices. And since I'm a teacher and, you know, work at home mom and everything, price is always a big thing to me. And, and she gives pretty reasonable, um, like, coupon codes and things as well. I think that she has a 30% off coupon going on right now, I don't remember, but if you check her Instagram, then you can find that out. Um, for that matter, since this is a holiday weekend, there are a ton of sticker shops that are um, doing sales. So if ever you are getting ready to buy stickers 
and you just kind of have your Etsy basket filled, then hold off for like a weekend or a holiday and um, your favorite sticker shops, they might, they might end up running a sale so that you can kind of pick up all the stickers that you want. Now here's the personal set that, that goes along with this, it coordinates nicely with this. And this personal set I think is really great because um, it has, it has um, heart checklists that are three of them, not super long. So if you wanted to, you could always stack these if you wanted to do a longer kind of um, like checklist. The, the icons here, and this is something that I think, I don't know, maybe I'm just particularly, or I'm sorry, particularly picky, but I really, really love how um, Nicole does her icons so that there is a darker orange, or you could even say a warmer orange, and then a lighter orange there in the background. So see how it's kind of rimmed with a darker, and then the background color is a lighter one? and then you have the icon printed in white. I really feel like that makes um, the icon stickers just look a little bit more polished and refined looking in their design. And this is, um, to a certain degree, it's called a duo tone, which means it's um, two different tones of one color kind of on one. And um, I love how her icons are smaller because it's easier to use smaller icons at least for my purposes, in a personal size planner. And then the nice thing is, is that even though she doesn't use, um, you know, she doesn't give you just these small icons, she gives you smaller or larger ones too with graphic elements that also have script on there. So you get kind of some favorite ones, like the Happy Mail one or like um, a dinner one. You get larger elements here classic sorts of things that you might find during your week. And then you get some kind of, um, let's see here, I don't think, I think that all of these icons are, are, are um, kind of smaller, but these are just um, very general sorts of, just like important, remember, um, kind of symbols, very, very functional. And then you get a selection of page flags that are not just solid, but also have some simple patterns. And then this one right here, this has um, like the citrus kind of cross section, like what you would you would have um, just literally in like a grapefruit, which I think is kind of cool. Here is a box for Happy Mail, and then these strips, these strips right here, these again, these coordinate with the pattern that she put together. So this is an original pattern, and you can peel this off. This is a washi strip, and then you can strip the inner edge, or the gutter as it's called, of your personal size planner page. She does sell these inserts punched, so you can get them punched, but I would actually recommend that you get them unpunched because sometimes, um, you know, everyone punches their inserts differently that you hand punch them. So if you get them pre-punched, then it can be hard to line up the holes with whatever it is that your kind of planner inserts might have going on. Now what you will notice here, and this is something that I would do, and I might try and do a plan with me with this set so you can just kind of see what it looks like, but you'll see how this kind of lines up. And I'm pretty fussy in particular about like, I don't like things to be too matchy-matchy. So if this were like a planner page, then I would lay this like this. So then this is a reflected image like that. And then it doesn't look overly matchy-matchy. So this was the first page of the planner, the personal planner set. And this is the second page. So, and I think that this was like, like 550 or something without um, any coupon code or anything. And that's pretty generous, I feel like, both of these sheets. Um, and here we have not just the photorealistic, kind of the photographic elements on that original pattern, but then we also have half boxes and we have functional boxes like appointment boxes. We have pattern boxes, and then you have um, the white um, kind of box there, so it makes it easier to write on. She gives a glossy option as well as a matte option, but I usually always pick matte. And then, in addition to the fact that, like, I mean, this, these two, they came in one one listing. So, in addition to the fact that you get these heart checklists, 
You also get these, these small, these abbreviated ombre heart checklists that are just great for a personal size planner. Here's even kind of skinnier appointment boxes. And then here is a really great variation on the original pattern that she did with just a green background. This one has watermelon in it, which I think is pretty fun. Another thing that she does with her ombre heart um, kind of check checklist is, see that really, really fine white line there? That's probably like a one point line. This is, this is all like totally technical stuff. Um, and then another thing is, is there is a one point kind of an outline there, right there, right around her, um, when I say one point, I'm referring to the graphic size of it, like in Photoshop or something. And people who design stickers, they might be familiar with these terms, but I'm not sure. So I'm just kind of doing this just as well so that you can kind of learn maybe the technical terms of like sticker design. But I really, really appreciate the fact that the hearts are very, very slightly outlined in order to kind of pull out the detail of the heart. And then that white line there makes all the difference to me in this kind of ombre heart checklist. And she packs these stickers, these sticker sheets full of stickers. She wastes no space whatsoever. And I always like that when it comes to sticker, planner sticker um, makers. She has teardrop shapes there, and those are about, those are small ones, and then she has check boxes there that you can use too. And then here's the weekend banner, which I just think is really clever. I love clever weekend banners. And this one is the citrus pattern with the weekend, and then it's outlined in white. And it's small enough for a personal size planner. And then here's some solid boxes. So that's basically, um, you know, the gist of kind of like Nicole Hutch designs and a lot of why I really, really appreciate her work um, as just a fellow artist. Um, I feel like her work, it's very, very obvious that she is a professionally and classically trained graphic artist. She's also exceptionally good with her business dealing. She's super professional when it comes to customer service issues. She's very speedy with packing orders, and she's a one-person kind of an Etsy shop. Here's a tip if you um, are kind of thinking about ordering from different shops and everything. Um, if you, if you want to get your stickers faster, sometimes the key is ordering local to you. And because I live in the D.C. area, New Jersey is close enough to me, which means the shipping is going to be a lot faster. Um, so that's something to consider that if you are trying to decide between sticker shops and it seems like places have like kind of a certain um, style and they're all, I don't want to say they're the same, but they're similar enough, then it might help for you to make that more informed decision by picking a sticker shop that um, stylistically it has what you want, but it's local to you. You might be more likely to get it shipped to you faster only because the postal service can be very, very unreliable and these sticker shops they can only help so much as it comes to the post office. Um, so if you pick a sticker shop that is local to you, that is more within your general kind of service space, service area, that'll help. So that is it for this planner sticker love down. And I hope that you really enjoyed it. And if you've never tried out Nicole Hutch designs, as I, um, as I stated kind of previously, I have ordered from her multiple times. She is wonderful to deal with, and um, obviously she has really, really great designs, and um, I'm a fan of Nicole Hutch designs. So um, I hope that you enjoyed this video, and um, I'm going to be doing more of these planner sticker love downs, and you just never know who might pop up on here, so if you want to discover maybe some new shops or hear about why I like the shops that I order from um, and get happy mail from, then... Um, then uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you can see more of these. So as I said in the intro of this video, I know that planner stickers aren't for everybody, but um, they can be really fun and pretty to use in your planner. Um, I kind of take an approach that I consider to be both fashionable and functional, which means that um, I, I don't know, I, I like having decorative elements on a page as much as I like it to be functional 
so that it's not like overly kind of stickered up. Um, I also think about when I'm thinking about planner stickers that I might use um, because I might go to meetings or things where I just I, I don't know I want to be I don't want to say I want to be conservative but I do want to look professional still um, so I found that having a good balance between decorative elements and just good colors and good color palettes that's a really really big thing for me um, in terms of just kind of picking planner stickers that I might want to use because I like I said I might go and be in meetings with people um, or I might be working with clients and I really love my planner and I love using planner stickers and all the different elements that you use to kind of make planning more engaging and more exciting and pretty. But um, I always feel like I try and walk that line and strike the balance of what is, um, what is functional as much as what is fashionable, which is why I kind of think of it as like fashionable and functional sort of planning. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It's kind of short. Like I said, I don't really... I don't use like a ton of planner stickers, um, sorry that's my dog, <laughs> um, but when when I do I am pretty kind of picky and kind of choosy about what it is and how I go about using it. So that's it for this video. I have some more kind of planner sticker love down videos coming um, and uh, of, of just shops that I have kind of uh, used before that I really just like their work, their designs. And um, I can't wait to share those things with you. So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Um, thanks so much for watching. Bye.